hey, so I guess it's time to start learning some movie battles. Uh, before we go into the game, though, I think we have to go through some of the very basic steps so you can get the most out of the game uh, in terms of uh, controls and setups and stuff. I'll go through them fairly quickly, but I guess you can always go back to them when you need some extra help. So, of course, you'll probably want to uh, click on profile and pick your name. That's really simple. Uh, just write in your name. Then, moving on, we'll probably be wanting to uh, check out if our uh, commands are proper. Movement, you probably don't have to do any changes unless you have want to. Uh, interaction. Here are some stuff you uh, probably need to uh, think about, like Saber style and alternate attack. These should be really accessible. You have to have them really nearby to your fingers, so you can access them a lot. Um, here, nothing too special. Do it if you want to. Uh, one thing worth noting though, you have to check this one out. There's a reload button in this game. In, unlike the uh, original Jedi Academy, this game uh, has reloadable weapons. I recommend you to uh, find this one. And here are one of the, some of the uh, more special ones that uh, Movie Bells uses. These class specials are usually special abilities that the classes can activate. Have those bound to uh, buttons that are really close to your fingers uh, in the uh, standard playing position you have. F and G are mine. They're kind of bad. I would probably recommend Q and E, for instance. Um, class configuration is uh, the button you will be using to open your uh, class loadout menu. I recommend having that handy as well. I have it at 7, that might be even too close. Maybe F10 could be good. Something that is uh, kind of far away, but still something you can reach fairly quickly if you want to. Enlarged minimap could be nice for your noobs as well, because uh, you will probably get lost in the map at some point. Force power binds uh, is something you probably don't have to explore until you actually learn how to play Jedi. But uh, that will be a topic for a later discussion, I suppose. Mouse, you don't need to touch this unless you really want to uh, tweak the sensitivity. Uh, in terms of media recording, uh, I think you probably want to adjust this based on your own uh, preferences. But I've kept the auto record on because I kind of personally enjoy having uh, my replays saved somewhere. So I can use them later on to make highlights of my gameplay moments without having to like waste a lot of hard drive space. And once all this is concluded, you probably also want to do some stuff in the setup, like adjust your resolution. So uh, pick your uh, favorite resolution or the one your monitor supports and uh, go with that. More so, just adjust the uh, brightness to your preference and uh, if you have a bad computer, turn off uh, dynamic lights and dynamic low and also disable the sky. These things will help you when it comes to computer performance. Sounds, nothing too special. There's also a very high option, but the sounds kind of sound really ugly to me at least when you're using very high, so I have that off. Um, and the uh, game options, you'll probably also want to keep the team overlay on. It will help you see what your teammates are doing, where they're going. Under visual options, there's uh, one really key thing you probably want to turn on, and that's the bright uh, glows on the grenades. This will allow you to see grenades way better than the default setting, which is subtle, which uh, just doesn't work that well if you want to see the grenades incoming. And if you're having computer problems or just want to have uh, less clutter in your gameplay, put the enhanced effects on normal instead of high, because high has a lot of smoke and uh, debris which will just obstruct your view and uh, slow down your game. And moving on, there's something you'll probably want to look at when you're uh, playing with a widescreen monitor, which is the field of view options here, and the widescreen UI. These will uh, help your game look a bit nicer. The UI won't be as stretched with the widescreen UI turned on, and the widescreen field of view turned on will also uh, help with the camera being too close to the character in third person. So, you'll probably also want to set the network options to these values because the default values are optimized for 56k modems and I don't think 
that's uh, your internet connection necessarily. And uh, I think that covers the basics of uh, having a good setup for the game. And once you're done with that, uh, you might want to explore some of the library as well. It will have some nice tips and tricks. And now we can uh, make a nice transition to the uh, playing of the game by clicking on play and clicking join. And I'll briefly explain the server list for you. So, what we have here. Uh, here's the map name, very self-descriptive. Player count, yes, okay. But this might be confusing. So, here we have the game type the map, uh, server is on. Open refers to the Battle Royale mode of MP2, which uh, basically allows you to play as any character of the Star Wars universe we have in the game. And it's probably the most common as well. People tend to enjoy the possibility of play playing exactly how they want, and this is the mode that enables you to do it. And Full Authentic is a mode uh, basically made for fighting the real battles, the actual movie battles. This was supposed to be the uh, intended main game mode initially, but open took over in the end and it got more popular, but Full Authentic is still a lot of fun because it has uh, a lot more uh, variety in terms of what kind of characters you can play as. And lastly but not least, we have the dueling mode. This is where players will uh, be able to hone their skills in the lightsaber combat. That's something you probably will do a bit later, at least in my tutorial set, because uh, I recommend playing as a soldier first. So, now that we know the game modes, and now that we uh, understand all that basic stuff, we're ready to join the server. And if you ever ha seem to have any problems seeing any servers in the list, yeah, I recommend uh, checking us out on puipals.org and seeing if there's something wrong with the master server list, or if there's any alternatives available that will show you the list of the servers. Let's just hop in the game and see how it goes, right? See you in the next video.